Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Paula, and today we're gonna do a get ready with me makeup tutorial. So we're going to start off by applying some primer and prepping the face. For my primer, I'm using the Master Prime Illuminating Primer by Maybelline. Now that we're done with step number one, we're moving on to eyebrows. I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. Make sure to always brush out the eyebrows so we don't leave any harsh lines. Also, by brushing out your eyebrows, it makes your eyebrows look more natural and hair-like. Now grab your favorite concealer, something similar to your skin. Then we're gonna grab a small brush, add some concealer to it, and we're gonna clean up the bottom of your eyebrows. So at this point, what I like to do is use my fingers and make sure everything is blended out. Now we're gonna move on to contouring the face. What I like to do is contour my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow, the bottom of my lip, and for more definition, I like to contour my jaw as well. For this video, I'm going to use the Fit Me Shine Free Balance Foundation. I know it's a foundation, but it works great for contouring. Also, I'm using the foundation stick in the color Coconut. Now, what we're going to do is grab your contour brush and blend out your contour, just like so. Look how flawless this contour looks with the foundation stick. Also, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but we're not using foundation in this tutorial. I usually don't wear foundation and it also lets my skin breathe. I personally like to conceal my under eyes, my nose, and my chin. So to conceal my under eyes, I'm using the Fenty Matchstick in the color Caramel. So now we're gonna grab our beauty blender and blend out your concealer.
I'm also going to grab my Age Rewind concealer and apply that to the bridge of my nose. Going to go back with the Beauty Blender and blend out my nose. Now I'm going to grab my translucent powder and apply that to my face. Make sure you guys use a damp beauty blender and apply it to the face, it's easier. Also, make sure your under eyes are not creased before applying the translucent powder. This is called baking and what it does is help not crease the makeup throughout the day. I know, I look crazy. But now I'm gonna grab my Fit Me powder and apply that to my face, also dusting off the excess translucent powder. Using the natural bronzer from Rimmel, I'm going to set my contour with this powder. Sorry guys, I had to sneeze. <laughs> So I'm going back in with my powder brush and just cleaning off the excess bronzer. Now let's move on to blush. I'm using the Fit Me blush in the color Wine. I love this color, it's so pretty. So where I like to apply my blush is on the apple of my cheeks, across my nose so I can look a little bit tan, and sometimes on the bottom of my chin. Now moving on to eyes, I'm going to grab the same contour powder by Remo, the natural bronzer, and I'm going to use that and apply it to my eyelids. I also like to go in with a smaller brush and apply it underneath my lash line. What this does, because we're going for a natural look, it just gives you a little bit of more definition to your eyes. Now moving on to eyeliner. This one I got from Sephora. So applying eyeliner on camera is a real struggle. This was not easy at all. We're going to create a small cat eye look. Now moving on to mascara, I'm using the Total Temptation by Maybelline. This is the new collaboration with Gigi Hadid and I'm in love with this mascara, it's so good. So now we're gonna apply the mascara on our bottom lashes. What I like to do is let my mascara dry before applying anything else to the face. I'm going to use my setting spray. This one is from Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm gonna grab my highlighter brush and just add some of the setting spray to the brush. What this does is pick up more of the product and the application is more flawless. So the highlight I'm using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration with Amrezy. And this highlighter honestly is so stunning. It's beautiful. I recommend it to everyone. It's my favorite highlighter at the moment and uh, I don't think I'm gonna let it go anytime soon. Honestly, when I first applied this highlighter, I was so shocked how gorgeous it is and it looks very natural. It's just, it's a stunning highlighter. Amrezy, um, you honestly killed this highlighter.
So how I like to apply my highlighter is on the highest points of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose. I like to go in with my finger and apply the highlighter in my tear ducts. and also on my cupid's bow. So at this point, I'm gonna use the same brush I used for my eyes and get the same contour powder and just contour my nose a bit. So now that we're done with the face, the last step is setting your face. And you guys, setting your face is so important because it helps the makeup last all day. Also, again, the setting spray that I'm using is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And that is the final look. I hope you guys like the makeup tutorial. This is a quick get ready with me everyday makeup look. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.